two weeks later, and there are several operations going on simultaneously at the crash site. We're working around the clock with uh, federal, state, local partners to try to get this port open as quickly as possible. That much is clear when you get up close to the wreckage of the key bridge. The U.S. Coast Guard says they've made significant progress removing parts of the bridge and clearing debris under the bridge, but there's still a lot of work to be done. We're surveying underneath the water line. We're also removing parts of the, the bridge, the debris that you can see, uh, and cutting that above the water line. And uh, we're also engaged in obviously trying to find uh, those victims that are still underneath the water. They are three men, construction workers who were filling potholes on the bridge at the time of the collapse. Rescue crews think they know the general area they're in, but are having trouble getting to them. It's a complex operation that requires a lot of uh, surveying and because uh, there's a lot of debris underneath the water line and we want to make sure the first responders who are diving uh, to recover those individuals are safe as well. Crews are working to remove shipping containers from the dolly and get some of the bridge off the bow to make it lighter in the water. Making the ship a little bit lighter allows for us to do additional surveys underneath the water line and to hopefully free up the vessel so when it's time to move the dolly to uh, a pier space nearby, um, you know, we can safely do that. Officials admit they're not sure how they will move the dolly. They are facing a lot of unknowns and obstacles, but trying to work as quickly and safely as possible to get the port up and running again. The goal is to have the shipping channel fully back open by the end of May. On the Patapsco River, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News.